Hello friends, welcome to BSC Agriculture. If you are coming to my channel for the first time, then don't forget to the subscribe button. Your subscription and likes are always motivating us. So please comment about our video and you can be able to join us in the Instagram page which is in the video description. So let's move to the video. In this video, we are going to see about fundamentals of entomology. I am going to cover the uh, coleoptera order. So while seeing coleoptera order, the while seeing about the meaning description of the coleoptera name, the coleo, which is the known as she, and terra wings so the sheathy wings insects are comes under the coleoptera insect order and it is said to be the largest order in the insect classification and the common names are bugs uh, beetles as well as mules while seeing about the general characteristics of coleoptera they are mainly called as beetles and they use it to have a tough exoskeleton compared to other animals and the four wing is said to be called as electra in this group of insects so which is said to be the harder one and they fly only with the membranous wings and the four wing which is said to be used as the cover as well as the production for their internal organs as well as the uh, membranous wings which is a hind wings for the body and the larva is said to be called as grubs so i have shown in this picture and uh, i have given some of the example pictures of cucumber beetle ladybird beetle as well as the rhinoceros beetle and uh, these are some other beetles which is said to be present in coleoptera orders and uh, even seeing about the description they use it to have a lot said to be minute to large sized insects and the antenna is said to be usually 11 segmented but they are said to be classified in some different groups of insects and the mouth parts are said to be a chewing type of mouth part and in weevils fronds and vertex are prolonged into stout like structure and the gullar secretory where the gullar uh, is a secretory region forms the floor for the head where it is said to be absent in weevils and uh, the remaining characteristics where the prothoracic region is said to be large and distinct one as well as the mobile one in these insects but in the other groups they are said to be immobile but in this one they are said to be mobile one and the meso and metathorax are said to be fused with the first abdominal segment in this insect and uh, remaining characteristics like the four wings are said to be heavily sclerotized and veinless and as well as the hardened one so they are said to be called as elytra and the uh, four wing did, cannot be able to overlap or meet dor mid dorsally to form a mid dorsal line and in some weevils or in ground weevils the four wings are fused and the hind wings are said to be atrophied in this one so it is said to be not used for flight and only the function is to protect the insect from the harsh environments as well as from the predators and uh, the hind wings are said to be the membranous one which is said to be used for the flight and uh, at the rest time they are said to be transversely folded and kept beneath the elytra which is the hind wing which is the fore wing of that particular insects and uh, there is a small part which is uh, present in the mesothorax which is said to be known as the scutellum which is said to be a triangular shape based on the elytra of the insects and uh, the cerci or uh, said to be have a distinct oviposter are said to be absent in these coleoptera insects and the pigment producing pycnidal glands are said to be present in many e beetles so they are said to be used for the precaution from the predators and the malpigian tubules exist siphotonic condition in these groups and uh, the metamorphosis is said to be a complete one where the larva is said to be called as grubs in these groups and the pupa are said to be exited pupa and uh, rarely they are also found in the cocoon type and the importance are they are said to be mainly the predators as well as scavengers in many crop pests they also damage some of the stored group of products in the storehouses and uh, while seeing some other definitions for the word the greek the they were said to be told the coleoptera is also said to be comes from the greek word where the coleus and the terra wings which is we have used to see that in the first slide and uh, the coleoptera which is mainly composed of beetles i have given the position as well as the uh, structural diagram mic representation in these pictures so while seeing about the spotting id they used to have a chewing mouth parts and uh, the four wing are said to be called as elytra which is said to be a hard shell covering the hind wings from the external damages and uh, while seeing about the classification between these suborders in coleoptera there are two suborders which is the adiphaga as well as the polyphaga 
and the in Adifaga they are said to be hind coxa which is said to be immobile and in Polypaga which is said to be a movable one and the hind caca divides first abdominal sternite and the hind caca is said to be not completely divided the first abdominal sternite mandibles are said to be with a molar area and mandibles are said to be without a molar area and labrum is said to be fused with the head capsule and labrum is not said to be fused not notoplural suture is said to be usually present in adifaga uh, groups as well as it is absent in forifaga antenna without pectination or club as well as the antenna is said to be presented with the pectination or club like structures and uh, while first we are going to see about the adifaga while seeing about the characteristic the abdom the first abdominal sternum which is said to be divided by the hind coxa which is the movable one in these group of insects and the adult adifaga is used to have a visible notoplural suture in their body and in forifaga the first abdominal sternum is said to be undivided and uh, they are said to be fixed with the metasternum of their body and the notoplural suture which is said to be found beneath the as well as under the pronotum shield which is said to be not present and uh, these are the differential classification image of adifaga as well as the forifaga one where the coxa posterior is said to be present in adifaga and uh, while seeing we are going to classify the families based on predators as well as scavengers and the store products and the crop pest so first we are going to see about the families of predator within that the family is sica Cicidillidae, which comprises of tiger beetle. So while seeing about the characteristics, they used to have a wide prothorax and the head is usually wider than the prothorax as well as the eyes are said to be fair and large enough. So they used to have a keen vision and the mandibles are said to be short pointed and legs are long and tarsi center, so which enabled them to fast runners. And the elytra execute the vertical pits to capture the prey. And both grubs and adults are said to be the active predators. And after that, we are going to see about the family Carabidae. So they are said to be known as the six-spotted Carabid, where the scientific name are Anthea sesquata. Uh, and the adults are said to be black in color, and some are said to be brightly spotted. Legs are mainly suitable for the running, and they are used to have a caliber-like mandibles. So where they used to have a well developed as well as terminal structure like structure which are said to be known as the Eurogomphi. They are nocturnal in nature and the ground beetles are voracious predators as well as both adult and larva. So they are used to mainly feed on the soft body caterpillars and other insects. It was the picture of ground beetle and uh, after that we are going to see about the family Dicicidae which comprises of true water beetles as well as the predaceous diving beetles. So the body is said to be long, oval, as well as the smoothy and shiny one, and the antenna is said to be filiform larva, and they are said to the hind legs are said to be the flattered one and fringed with hairs, or uh, which are mainly suitable for the filming one, and the hair is said to be stored in the beneath the elytra, which is used for the respiration purpose, and the adult as well as the larva is said to be the aquatic predators. So these are the pictures of true water beetle, and after that we are going to see about the Gynidae, which is a whirling beetle. They swim in the erratic paths on water surface and exhibit a yeah, gyrating motion in the insect body. And the components are said to be completely divided by the front margin of the head with the upper and lower half so that the beetle used to appear to have a two pair of components. And the dorsal pair is said to be suited for the aerial vision and the ventral pair is said to be used for the aquatic vision. And the four legs are said to be the prehensile as well as the long one. Mid legs are and hind legs are used for the natural purpose which is said to be for the running purpose and they are mainly the predator ones and after that we are going to see the the cochinley family so in the cochinley family we used to comprise of ladybird beetle they are said to be hemispherical, hemispherical in shape and the body is convex above as well as the flat below the body appearance resembles a split p in their nature and the grubs are said to be the comporiform as well as the spiny one and the elytra is strongly convex and brightly colored and variously spotted based on the environment and they accept the genus Elephasia they, they are the predators on aphids, scales, mites as well as the white flies in the environment so these are the pictures of ladybird beetle and after that we are going to see about the family Lampridae so which is a firefly as well as the glowworms they are said to be sexual dimorphism, and the male 
where the head is said to be concealed with a semi circular pronotum but and in female the head is said to be hidden by the pronotum and the eyes are said to be well developed as well as the continuous one and the four wings are soft and flexible they do not fully cover the abdomen and uh, the wings are said to be absent as well as in lavery form in the female flies and the photogenetic organ is said to be found on the sixth as well as the seventh abdominal segment and the photogenic organ is said to be found in the seventh abdominal segment in the female one so while seeing about the gen general characteristics of these insect the larva is said to be used to have a sickle like mandibles they are mainly carnivores and they were used to feed on the snails and the external intestinal digestion is said to be common in this group of larvae and the, the all stages are said to be luminant to varying degree the luminance is said to be produced by the oxidation of substance the lucifer which is an enzyme present in them so the functions of luminescence is to bring the sex together in for the mating purpose so these are the pictures of the firefly as well as the glow worms and after that we are going to see about the family of scavengers which were well, the first family we are going to see is carabidae which used to comprise of scarabs as well as the dung beetle so the example for this family is the common indian dung beetle where the scientific name is heliocorpus bucephalus the head is said to be broad as well as the flat one and the mandibles are said to be membranous and they are said to be incapable of chewing types and the many used to have spines and horns on head as well as the prothorax and the four legs are used to be known as the fossorial legs which is used for burrowing purposes and the middle legs are said to be widely separated adults as well as larvae are said to be scavenger types in this one so they are mainly used to feed upon the dropping of animals as well as the human excreta they used to bury down the balls in their underground chamber so that's where their head and four legs are used for ha handling of dunks as well as the digging pits in the soil head is used as an excavator as well as the four tibia and the shell they used to show a remarkable parental care on their younger ones so these are the pictures of dung beetle and uh, after that we are going to see the war scavenger beetle family which is said to be known as the hydrophilidae they are said to be dull or black colored one and the body is said to be convex as well as the flattened below antenna is said to be clubbed and kept beneath the prothorax of the insect and maxillary papules are said to be long and look like antenna legs are evenly placed in the anterior part of the body and middle legs are said to be flattened and mainly suitable for the swimming purpose and the metastasium is produced by a spine posteriorly and the aris should be uh, stored beneath the electra and over the under surface of the body in these insects and after that we are going to see the insects of the family of the stored pets product pest and the first family is anobidae which used to comprise of wood worms as well as the wood borer so there for example the first one is the cig cigarette beetle where is the scientific name of lasiodermus sericoni it is said to be the most serious pest in tobacco in factories as well as the cigarette storing agent uh, areas so the body is said to be oval or cylindrical in shape head is concealed by the pronotum where it used to be like a helmet like structure given in this insect and the grub is said to be fleshy as well as the, the lower abdominal segments so these are the pictures of cigarette beetle and uh, after that we are going to see the bostichidae which used to comprise of grain borers they are said to be small elongated as well as the cylindrical beetles and the head is said to be concealed by the pronotum which is said to be a hood like in structure and the antenna is said to be clubbed one in this one electron is said to be either smooth or sculptured one in this one in the groups of insects for example in lesser grain borer so rhizoptera dominica where the larvae even bore in the stored grains and eat the inner content of the grains completely and after that we are going to see is brucidae which is used to comprise of pulp beetle as well as seed beetles so the pulpus beetle is an example and the scientific name is caloso brunchus and chinensis and it is said to be a serious pest on the stored pulpus in the storehouses they are um, used to have a yes, said to be small as well as the short beetles while seeing about the body characteristics they are small and stout in nature which is said to be a blunt one and the antenna is serrate type and the hind and femur is said to be a thicker one and the elytra are said to be short and do not cover the abdomen fully and eggs are said to be 
whitish and the grubs mainly exclusively feed on the seed lumens and pupation occur within the seed and adults emerge by cutting the circular exit port and the development is said to be similar to the hyper metamorphosis like metamorphosation and after that so these are the pictures of Twitchy beetle which is a pulse beetle as well as the seed beetle and uh, Tenny Brionidae which is a meal worm so where the body is said to be flat and elongate and the elytra is said to be often sculptured and legs are said to be the heteromerous as well as with the torsal form of 5 to 5.4 and the larvae are called as the meal worms so the red flower beetle is an example where the scientific name is Tribolium castiana it is said to be an important pest of the milled products which is a secondary product of the which is a major pest on the milled product and after that we are going to see about the families of crop pest which is used to comprise of apionity where the you can able to see the weevils like ant like in structure but they used to have some classification while seeing them in ant while comparing with ants where the head is said to be produced in a stout like structure and the antenna is said to be not allowed in this one and the grubs are adophus I, for example sweet potato wheel where you can be able to see the scientific name is Silas formicarius it used to attack on the sweet potato both in the field as well as the storage one and after that we are going to see is bupress today where it used to compress of 12 beetle as well as the metallic wood border they are said to be often elongated hard bodies insects and the body regions used to have a metallic luster and the antenna is said to be serrated one Larva are called as the flat headed borer and the hand is said to be small and they are said to be entirely withdrawn into the thoracic region and the prothorax is generally expanded and as well as the legs are absent in those group in the prothorax they use to tunnel beneath the bar as well as bore into the stems or roofs for example groundnut stem borer where the scientific name is Cephanotera peritoti uh, where the larva used to tunnel into the main root of the plant and uh, which used to cause the death as well as the drying of those plants so these are the pictures of 12 beetle as well as the metallic wood border and after that we are going to see is cassidy family which used to comprise of tortoise beetle so the adults used to be look like a small tortoise in nature and the head is said to be concealed under the prothorax and the head is said to be inferior in position and the prothorax and the elytra are convex wider and are used to form a shell and leg tips alone are said to be exposed outside the shell and the larva is torsally spiny to which the excreta as well as the exiva are attached forming a facial shield like expression in their body so for example the sweet potato bubble where with the scientific name is Aspidiomorpha milaris and they primarily feed on the sweet potato so these are the pictures of Cassidy tortoise beetle images and after that we are going to see is Ceram bisonde which used to comprise of longicon beetle and where the body is said to be cylinder as well as the component is also said to be notch and the pronotum is said to be the one two three lateral located spines and grubs are said to be round headed as well as the round headed borers they are said to be adophus in nature and used to have the pseudo adophus both dorsally as well as the ventral side they are said to be known as the wood borers they develop beneath the bore and tunnels into the branches or main stem for example mango stem borer and batosera rufo maculata is the scientific name of mango stem borer so these are the images of mango stem borer and after that we are going to see is curculiundi which used to comprise of weevils and stout beetles so the for example the coconut red palm weevil where the scientific name is Rhynchophorus and uh, Phrygianus where they used to have a minute to large sized insects and the antenna is said to be geniculine and found usually on the middle of the stout and the grubs grub are said to be adapters as well as the use of rice in nature and weevils are said to be important in crop test both occurring in the field as well as the storage one and these are the pictures of coconut ground and uh, we are going to see about the family dynasty which used to comprise of unicorn beetle as well as the rhinoceros beetle mandibles are said to be bent and expanded and leaf like structures are present and which is said to be visible above 
and the hearts are said to be usually present in the male and uh, absent in the female one which is present in the head as well as in thorax so for example coconut rhinoceros beetle the scientific name is oryctes rhinoceros and uh, the cephalic horns which is said to be found in both the sexes but in male it is said to be longer as well as the recurve but at female it is said to be shorter as well as the straight in one but the adult are uh, said to be injurious to the coconut and the grubs are said to be found dying palms as well as the manure pits and uh, these are the pictures of the beetle so which is said to be present in the dynasty and after that we are going to see is elatridae which is used to comprise of quick petal as well as the wire worm body is said to be elongate as well as the cylindrical one pronotum is said to be round and anterior and posteriorly connects and sharp pointed grubs are said to be long cylindrical as well as tough on the skin and are said to be called as the wire worm they mainly feed on the roots and their click live click beetle on its back observe it's said to be based on its behavior and you must need to know the click beetles uh, where the adult can be able to jump and land upon its feet while lying when it's back so each jump is said to be accompanied by a clicking sound that's why they used to get the name of click beetles and the movement of prothorax makes the pseudosternal spine to slip from the metosternal cavity in these insects so these are the pictures of click beetle as well as the wire worms and uh, we are going to see about the family galericiidae which comprises of pumpkin beetle and the antenna is said to be said to be closely appropriated and the third tarsomeri is said to be deeply bilobed on and the larvae are said to be root feeders and adult used to bite holes on leaves for example red pumpkin beetle which used to comprise of raphido falfa phobicolus is the scientific name of the red pumpkin beetle and after that we are going to see the meriodinidae which is said to be the final one in these groups i think so which is a uh, comprise of blister beetle as well as the oil beetle example banded blister beetle where the scientific name is mylabris pustulata the while seeing about the body characters they are said to be cylindrical as well as the soft bodied beetle and the claws are said to be show used to have a show longitudinal splitting nature and the four wings are soft as well as the leathery one but on while seeing them in vision they look like hard but they are mainly soft as well as the leathery one developments involved in them are hyper metamorphosis where the egg used to hatch it an active triangular larva which to use it to feed on the eggs of the uh, grasshoppers and the adult feed on the foliage as well as the flowers so these are the pictures of blister beetle oh, sorry and the 10th group is the mallow lonthidae which used to comprise of chaffer beetles as well as june and white grubs so it used to comprise of the groundnut white grub where the scientific name is holotrichia consangui it is said to be the serious pest on groundnut which used to be found under rain fed conditions in the groundnut field they are said to be stout beetles with the glossy surfaces and labrum is said to be well sclerotized in this one also said to be attracted to light and they are said to be feed on tree foliage and during night and hide inside soil during the day time so these are the pictures of chaffer beetle june beetle as well as the groundnut white grub so i have given the lecture notes in description so please comment about our video and join us in the instagram page with us which is in the video description the instagram link and if you like the video like it and share it with your friends and subscribe to bsc agriculture and hit the bell icon to get regular updates so thanks for watching the video i will catch you up in next videos